Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you guys some embellishments that I made using some of the dies from In Love Arts shop and I will leave their link down below if you missed that haul. Um, I will also leave the haul. I just did a haul on them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I created using some of the dies that I received and then I also wanted to share with you guys really quick. Um, I had a 99 or a collective haul and I had purchased some Halloween little um, skeleton body parts and I did end up painting them and then I mod podge some glitter just so I can um, just so I had a little bit of more of like glittery and fun tones to it. Now it's not painted perfect which I like. Um, you can still see some of the parts of the original color of the little bone um, color, but I think it turned out super cute and I'm excited to use them for next year. I'm pretty much done with all my Halloween swaps and projects, so I decided I would go ahead and paint it now and then save this for next year's um, Halloween. So very excited about that. Loved how that turned out. And then I'm going to go ahead and share what I curated now from In Love Arts. So, the first thing I made were some lollipops. And I made two different um, kinds. Well, pretty much similar, but a little bit different. And I used actual, like, lollipop sticks. And I wanted to show you guys really quick. So I had this, which was the lollipop die, and then here is the little um, twirly part, like the candy. And then in the die, it also came with um, a bow die. And you can see there's still some gold um, part in there, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. So this was the die that I used. Now for this one, I didn't use the bow. You guys, you can see I used some of the little resin pieces that I got from BB Craft. This was um, a bag of variety of colors. And if I remember, I'll leave BB Craft down below. And then, so instead of using the little paper thin lollipop stick part, I ended up using real lollipop sticks. I just thought that would be better. And I added a little mini pom-poms to the bottom. I like to do that with like my mini wands anyway, so I thought that would be cute. And then I added, um, if you can see, they're really small um, clear stickers. This one says nice list. It's done in gold. And then this one says cheers. And that was like from a sticker book that I had, Christmas sticker book that I had. So I'm not sure exactly where it came from. But I just added the little bling rhinestones or little pearls. And I think it turned out super cute. And then I just backed it with regular um, white paper. And I'm not sure what paper pad this was, but I believe it was um, one from Peachy Cheap that I had gotten last year. So I got those. And then I made two more using the bows that it actually came with. And I decided to go with gold um, just so it would pop out and I'm going to be using a lot of these colors, um, for certain projects. So I was thinking ahead when I made these, did pretty much the same thing, added the little sentiment stickers. This one says magical and this one says a naughty list again with the mini pom poms. And then I just backed it up with some paper and I think it turned out super cute, cute little embellishments. Um, you can add them to projects, you can um, add them to bag toppers, and you can just add a little sticky tab to the back for your partner. So that's what I created with those, or with this die. And then I had the little um, snow globe ones, which if you watched my last video, I had pictured that this was supposed to be a lot bigger. And um, so I was a little disappointed when I saw the size, but... I went ahead and worked with it anyways, and I think they turned out so cute. So I made a little set, and I made little shakers, and I think they turned out so, so cute. Now, I'm a new beginner as far as, like, crafting with dyes and how to layer them, so I'm um, barely starting to use <laughs> dyes because I have um, 
you know, I just got one and well, I haven't just got one. It's been a while, but I don't use dyes very often. A lot of my, um, embellishments are just strictly handmade, but I had a lot of fun, uh, making them. They do, um, take your time. They're very time consuming, but so I had this, um, die here and then I just layered it up. Now, for the plastic, I ended up using, I got a roll from AliExpress and it's actually like a cake liner and you get a big roll for like under $3, including shipping. And so it comes in handy. So that's what I use mainly when I do shakers anyway. And then I added some really pretty sequins that kind of went with the color. And this one came from AliExpress as well. And so I just layered it. And they still shake. I didn't use any foam tape around here to make it like dimensional. The only foam tape that I used was just for the wording. And again, I had these little stickers and then I just put them on another piece of cardstock and then um, cut around with some decorative scissors and then added the foam tape. And I just think these turned out so, so cute. Little mini um, globes. I mean, you could do anything to the bottom. I could have left it plain or could add it a bow or something, but I just thought adding a little sentiment um, made it look so cute. So very happy with how these turned out. This definitely took time to make. And then the last um, project share that I used was these little um, Polaroid frame like, and I remember um, I wasn't very fond of like the wording on them. But um, I just covered that up and it just leaves like a little indention. And then I'll show you what I made with those. I made little fall shakers and I just think they came out so adorable. And I just had this um, mix of sequins um, already pre-made. I have so much sequin mixes, so I'm just trying to get rid of them. And I just decorated it with some uh, fall stickers or not stickers, um, ephemera that I had gotten probably from Peachy Cheap. I did have, um, like this bling wants to stick up. I have to glue that better. I had these bows in my, um, bow stash and they were gifted to me and I just thought they were pretty cool matched. They are like a cloth like material and then just added some bling, um, wrap that came from the Dollar Tree. And I did do the back as the same pattern this paper was actually gifted to me through friend mail and I won it last year and I believe it was ninja does crafts so thank you for that I really like the color of it and um, these were fun and I did the same thing with these I used that um, clear um, plastic and I did not um, use foam I know some people will use foam in between just to make it more um, dimensional as far as for the sequence to move but it moved just fine just with it laying well I did use three um layers so there's the one layer and then um I used the plastic and then I used another layer and then another layer to back it so there is three but um that's pretty much it I didn't use any foam besides layering the little die cuts here super cute I really like how this one turned out so perfect like little um, embellishments and the last ones I want to share are also I hauled in my collective haul from a Dollar Tree I had picked up the little um, safety pin they're like favors for the baby section or baby shower section and um, I did end up making little embellishments out of them and I'm so excited I think they turned out so cute and you get I think 50 pieces of these in the pretty pastel colors and um, there's so many options so many things of how you can decorate them so I just made like little banners and then I added the little tassels added a little um, jump ring to the tassel I think I ordered a bunch of these they're really small um, from AliExpress and then I just layered them up or layered this up with some um, it's like a felt snowflake and then that gem snowflake is from Dollar Tree and again I did the same thing with the words I just puffed it up with some foam tape and then I had these really cute sticker buttons they have adhesive on the back 
and I got those um, from 99 and so I don't know I just wanted a, something pink right there but you can add anything bling another small embellishment I mean the possibilities are endless with this but I am so excited um, of how they turned out because that's pretty much how I envisioned when I was buying them I was wanting to make little things like this and they're perfect size and then in the back I just folded it like um, a little less than halfway added um, a foam tape to the back and then you can for you know if you wanted to you can put like a, a foam dot or something like that so whoever you send these to or you can use them as embellishments they would be able to stick it on their projects as well so very excited how these turn out i'm so excited so that is my little embellishment project share that i did and um i'm just glad that i had enough time to put it all together i've been extremely busy with football and school stuff and then work and with my grandma so i had some time um to craft and i was excited that um I was able to work on some Christmas stuff, even though it's we still have time. But those Christmas projects are rolling. We had there's a lot of people doing some Christmas um, swaps and things like that. So I did want to go ahead and do a quick share as far as how I store my little dies. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of them, and I did show this like in one of probably my craft room tour or my craft cart tour and this is just a file folder that I got from Staples and I just covered it up with some scrapbook paper which was I think by Chamel um and I um store my dies in picture frame picture frame <laughs> the sleeves from the photos um photo books and actually this is from dollar tree and i just label them with some labels that i had on hand um but that is how i do it i still have plenty of extras and then here are the photo sleeves that i do so i need to um put my dies that i got my extra ones in here but i did want to come on here um i always like to see different ideas as far as how people store things especially if you're a beginner crafter like i am i don't have a whole lot so i don't need you know all this fancy stuff but this works for me for now um and yeah i just stick them in these little photo sleeves and you can see <laughs> i do not have a lot um, have plenty of room for extras but it works out so I did want to go ahead and share that with you guys really quick um, if you guys were needing some type of idea this would be also a great way to store clear stamps if um, you needed it but I already have a video on how I do mine um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this quick share I hope you guys are doing well and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button I would love to have you and I will see you guys all in my next video take care guys and bye